Why, hello there everyone, I'm Laxo, and today I'm doing an unboxing video. And as you can see, I'm unboxing some tarantulas, and I do have my address and stuff blurred out, so that way people don't know where I live because of, you know, personal reasons and whatnot. And yeah, so allow me to get straight into it. So typically, I don't really buy tarantulas online unless they're mature males or tarantulas I need. And in this case, I found this one by pure accident. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Somebody was telling me to browse through Morph Market, and I did so, and I came across this vendor here, everybody. The Constrictor Den, owned by Nicholas Robbins, and I have to say, I saw a pricing that I thought was too good to be true, but I took a gamble, and that is why you're seeing this video today, which you now can see the labeling. This is the Pamphobedius Nigricolor, and yes, this is a Brazilian species. And I have to say, the pricing on these guys were way too good for me to pass up. So there was a pair of these for sale, or pairs of these species, and uh, each pair was $300. Their leg spans were around 4 inches to 5 inches in leg span. And honestly, for $300, that is beyond... <laughs> that, that is beyond a good deal, to be honest. I thought that was too good to be true, but I contacted the business, and now we're here in this unboxing video. And I would like to give a shout out to the Constrictor Den and Nicholas Robbins, the owner of this company, for, you know, selling me these tarantulas. Because I'll be honest, I thought the pricing was way too good to be true. Because typically, a female Pamphobedius nigricolor goes for about $250 to almost $300 at this size. And I bought a pair for $300. So I got a male and a female, a breeding pair. And they're a really good size too. To be honest, I'd say the female is probably ready to breed at this size, but I'm just gonna raise them up until the males mature and then I'll breed them together. So yeah, so this is a future breeding project as of now. So prepare for the future guys once this male is mature. And I am not sponsored by this company or this business at all. This is just me buying as a customer and leaving a positive review because I have to say everything was a 10 out of 10. So the tarantula packaging was pretty good itself. The heat pack did fall off from the ceiling of the styrofoam when I opened, you know, the box and whatnot. But that's not really a big issue because sometimes that happens. So that's fine with me, honestly, because the tarantulas came in alive. When it comes to packaging tarantulas and moss like this, or sphagnum moss and whatnot, I actually prefer if they're packed in paper towels. But that's just a preference thing for me, honestly. But as a tarantula breeder and someone who buys tarantulas for breeding and whatnot, I thought this was actually pretty solid, like, all around. So for me personally, I don't have any real complaints, so this is a pretty solid unboxing to me honestly. Everything came in alive, healthy, and nothing was dead, nothing went wrong, everything went to right. <laughs> so I'll actually leave a link to them down below if you want to check them out, the Constrictor Den. So please feel free to do so, I'll leave a link to the Morph Market down below. So please go check them out and tell them the Laxo sent you guys here <laughs> if you're gonna buy something because that would be pretty interesting to be honest. As a tarantula breeder myself, who has actually bred tarantulas for, you know, a while now, this was a pretty solid and a very smooth transaction. And yes, currently as I'm recording this, I'm actually busy doing tarantula breeding projects, and there is a breeding video coming on Friday, guys, so stay tuned. And I know that I upload videos only on Fridays, but today's an exception because I gotta do this review, and I gotta give you my honest thoughts. So that's why we're having this video that's not on Friday. <laughs> it's an early video to be honest. But don't worry, you're still going to get a video on Friday. It's a breeding video, so stay tuned guys. Because we're officially starting tarantula breeding season right now guys. Right now is my tarantula breeding season. And what you're expecting to see everyone is some green bottle blue tarantula breedings. And some carabina versicolor breedings. So stay tuned and uh, yeah, I hope you guys look forward to it. Now for me, I've already started pairing some green bottle blues and I have to say it took forever. As a matter of fact, the camera lights actually died on me. So the, <laughs> so the color contrast of the video recording was pretty dull honestly, but at least I got something recorded and I'll show you guys on Friday. Now back to the unboxing. I would actually like to give another shout out to the Constrictor Den again and Nicholas Robbins, the owner of this business, for this very smooth transaction and for everything going well for this pair of tarantulas I bought them for. And I have to say, as a tarantula breeder and as somebody who has bred tarantulas over the years now, I have to say this price was way too good of a bargain. <laughs> for $300 and for this species of this size, I really do think that this price was way too good for us customers. 
Now granted, this species is pretty difficult to produce in captivity, which is why the prices are so high for Pamphobedius in general for this genus. So for me, honestly, as a tarantula breeder who has skills, experience, and talent breeding tarantulas over and over the years again, this to me probably was too good of a deal, but for the average hobbyist, they probably would struggle breeding the species, which is probably why a lot of them backed away from this. But for me, honestly, this is a huge win because <laughs> leave it to the people who can do this and uh, they'll get the job done. Now, let me repeat this again. I am not sponsored by this company or anybody in general. The only people I'm sponsored by is my fans <laughs> for watching my videos. But uh, yeah, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, everybody, and stay updated to whenever I upload here on this channel. I upload every single Friday, and I try to, guys. I try my best to put out some good content for you guys. And if you like the tarantula breeding side of things, such as tarantula breeding and whatnot, please feel free to, you know, stick around to this channel, because this is what my channel is for. It's not really meant for the typical tarantula hobbyists, such as the typical tarantula feedings and whatnot. It is more so focused on the tarantula breeding side of things. So for those who are want to learn, and for those who want to observe tarantula breeding from an actual tarantula breeder, then please feel free to stick around and see what I'm up to. And with that everyone, I'm going to leave a link to the constrictor den down below to where I bought these pair of tarantulas, so please go check them out. And also guys, with that, I'll see everybody on Friday for a tarantula breeding video for the green bottle blue. And with that, stay lax, and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.